Hi. This is my last day of IOP update, just a day late, and my first day of solo recovery. I don't know. I need to like come up with a snazzy name. Um, update. So, last day of IOP was last night. Um, my almost ex, his travel plans had changed, so I actually could have went Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. And I called them and let them know as soon as I knew that, but they told me no. Um, because there's a wait list and they already had people taking my place. So I get it, but um, they did not set up like any after plan with me or anything. And I only met with my nutritionist. I didn't meet with my other like team, the other, I kind of have feelings about it. I paid a lot of money <laughs> and other people when they discharge, don't discharge like that. I don't know. I, was, I had feelings about it. I feel like I don't know. I feel like they had feelings about it because I wasn't completing the program, but that was not my choice. So I don't know. Um, I brought chocolate covered Swedish fish in for the girls and they loved them. Most of them, most of them loved them. Some of them didn't have any, but mostly everybody tried them. Um, when we leave, the way they do it in IOP is not the way they do it in day, like where everybody gives you a verbal gift and writes it down. That's what happens in day. But in IOP, you write a quote on a card, and you put it in a box, and you take a quote out. And the quote that I took out was song lyrics. Um, it said, "You were, we were meant to live for so much more. You know that song, right? I don't know. I was kind of a little disappointed, but... <laughs> It just kind of fit in with everything else, <laughs> the way it's ending. So I don't know. I guess it was perfect in some ways. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything significant for me. Some of the girls are struggling, and that's difficult to watch. Um, I had no problems with anything yesterday, dinner, whatever. Yeah. It's weird to be done. Um, in some respects, like I feel like eating disorder wise, I am in a really good place. Like I, I know just about what I need to know for that, you know, like the missing five days of group therapy. That's what's kind of, I feel like as much information as I can get about myself and how I work mentally and like just prepare myself for coping skills, you know, um, so I don't get triggered and I don't slide back that that's just a good thing for me. So missing five days of therapy, I don't, I don't feel great about it, but I'm in a good place. So, and I have, I'll be seeing my private therapist this Friday and I'm going to MFG on Sunday and I am bringing Dilla. Now, this is an update. Um, Dilla watches these and does not, is not okay with his nickname because it's, a, it's sacrilegious to him and I get it. I was teasing him, but I get it. He told me that I can use his real name, and he doesn't care if I use his real name. And so his real name is James. Hi, James. Everyone say hi to James. So why did I bring him up? Oh, he's coming with me. <laughs> yes, and he came over to my house last night and hung out with me because I was not feeling... I was just feeling in a lot of ways about the end of IOP, and it's always hard um, when to see people struggling and there was, a, you know, girls were struggling last night. So he came over after I put the kids to bed and he brought dinner. It was very sweet. Um, and we hung out until four o'clock in the morning. We just talked and we talked about stuff with us and cleared stuff up probably for both of us. I don't want to speak for him, but definitely for me. And I think for him too. And I'm glad. I understand where he's coming from way better. And it, and it, and it, it's healing stuff, you know? I'm glad. I'm glad we're being friends. We're trying that out. 
and I was really grateful that he came over and hung out with me. Um, so thanks, James. Okay, so today is my first day of being discharged. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> um, I ate breakfast. I'm going to eat more. My plan, and I'm involving Georgie in this, is to learn. I do actually know how to cook. I just don't cook. Um, and I could get more cooking skills. It's just very difficult for me with my ADD to cook and the kids all eat different things and it just gets really overstimulating. When it was just me and my oldest, I cooked everything from scratch, everything. But as more kids came in and then a husband, I couldn't deal with that. It was too much for my brain. So I recognize that I really need to learn and we need to eat better. We have all frozen shit and stuff from a box and I think that's okay in moderation but like it shouldn't be what we're eating the majority of you know and I don't want to eat it anymore when I'm hungry I'm, I open the freezer I'm like even though it's Amy's organics and those are that's good I'm like I don't want frozen food I want real food so I go out to eat a lot but then can't do that either um I can't maintain that for um, very long Financially, a non, whatever. It's mostly being snarky there, but um, it's just a good idea. So I told Georgie, and we are gonna, her and I are gonna pick out a recipe together, and we're gonna do it together. Probably I'll have Marley help me because he's, he actually can cook. <laughs> it will be fun. Um, that's it. I Tuesdays are usually half of my day off since I've been in IOP because I don't have to take anybody anywhere. My oldest takes the car and drives himself to his homeschool program, and me and the littles stay here. Usually we go out walking and stuff, um, but it's raining, so we're not. And that's it, I guess. I don't think I have... I don't think I have anything else right now. Oh, yes, I do. This is big. Why well, how did I forget it? So, yes, I gained weight. They weighed me. I gained weight. They said, congratulations. I'm gaining weight. Um, I'm not freaking out about it, but I'm aware of it. And so things are happening in my head where I'm like, oh, God, I'm getting fat. I feel fat. And then I'm switching it. No, you're just getting bigger. You were smaller because you weren't eating the right kinds of food and you didn't get enough. Of, you know, so you need to get bigger and your body, it's going to change. And that's how it is. Like, you have to be okay with that. I'm trying and I'm doing pretty good. I mean, it's hard. I have moments like I had a moment last night where I was sitting on the couch and my, my knee, my feet were like up on the coffee table. So my knees were bent, you know, and I was looking at my leg and I was like, that leg is bigger than it was. That's really difficult. That's a really difficult part of when your eye likes really thin and you're used to that, to seeing it bigger, it's just a transition. And I have to talk myself through it. I could be freaking out about it, but I'm not. I'm not. Um, I do have, these are things I wonder, like, can't you gain weight and not be flabby when you're gaining weight? Like, why does my stomach have to be protruding right now? Like, even if it's minuscule, why? Like, why can't it just gain weight and, like, even out? Will it eventually even out if I'm putting weight on in a healthy way by eating things that my body needs and balance and all that stuff? Will it come on, like, will it just eventually work itself out? Do you know what I mean? So, like, if it's protruding now, it won't be. That's the part that's hard because, like, if you just gain, if you just, like, stay the same shape but just got bigger. Do you know what I'm saying? Instead of like, you now you have a belly and now your thighs are jiggly or they weren't before. Like, can't you just stay the shape but just be more girthy? <laughs> and if you can't, can somebody give me an ask and explain to me how the body gains weight? Like, and w will it like even out? That's what I think most people do when they start gaining weight. They freak out because it's like, it's not like they stay the same shape and they just get girthier. 
their shape changes or I don't mean stay the same shape do you know what I mean so like if I was like this I think you know what I mean I know I hope you understand what I'm trying to say and I can't say it right but I don't know now I'm losing myself but I think people freak out about it because like a belly will protrude or something or like love handles will happen and that equals fatter usually for people or something bad instead of maybe that's just what naturally happens to your body and it starts out that way then it redistributes once your weight restored or whatever do you know what I mean and then it like evens out I don't know this is the kind of stuff they should tell you in treatment they should tell you this they should explain it so we know what the fuck is going on and, and people don't start relapsing because they don't know how to handle it. If I were a very rich person, which I'm not, a non, again, um, mostly I'm doing that because I'm amused and I amuse myself, but I would maybe, I don't know, I have ideas about how treatment should be. I don't know if I would want to run a treatment center, and I'm not qualified to do that, but I definitely have ideas. I would change things for sure. So, All in all, my experience at Renfrew was good. It saved me. I saved me. You all saved me. All of your love and support. I could not do this without you. I still won't be able to do it without you. Um, it's a lot of hard work, and for like, the next two years at least it's gonna be actively working on recovery and um, that's okay I'm glad I know that you know I'm glad I know that and it could be longer and it maybe could be shorter but biologically it takes two years for certain pieces to fall into place and so that's a relief okay I guess that's it yeah I hope your, I was going to say Monday, but it's Tuesday. I hope your Tuesday is lovely and you enjoy it. Rain and all, if it's raining where you are. I love the rain. I love, I love it. It's great to shoot in, like the light is great. And then anything with color just pops in the rain. I love that. All right. Bye. Ciao, ciao.